G'day, I'm Shane Webke, WorkSafe Ambassador for WorkSafe Queensland, and I'm with Kylie Stratton from Charters Towers, who today is going to talk about what she sees or views as, as um, a safe way to involve your kids in farm work uh, on your property. So, what, what, what are the more pertinent things, do you think? Um, obviously, four-wheelers, motorbikes are a big issue, so we have some rules around those. If children don't go mustering on four-wheelers, they're not allowed to ride them, um, you know, only very occasionally, but not you know, in general. Um, water safety is a big one, obviously. Drownings is a big issue, so we've always had ground rules. If we have had a dam close to the house we're living in, they're not allowed to leave the house yard. We've always had a secure house yard. Chemicals are always locked up. Vehicle safety, knowing where your kids are when you're moving vehicles. Just everyday, common day things, but because your kids are in your workplace all the time, you've got to have them in the back of your mind. Constantly. Well, see, that, that, and that would be a pertinent difference to say people who live in suburbia. There, there are enough dangers around there. But as you rightly say, like on a, on a, on a property, the workplace is straight out the back door, isn't it? Yeah. So is it is it a matter of two? Like, because I've got young kids myself, and we go to the property. But the one thing I find you just have to be is vigilant in terms of knowing where they are and not getting complacent about um, or normalising behaviour where they where they disappear and where they go. Yeah, that's right. And kids are, are a part of your workforce when you live out on a property or on a farm. Of course, they are. You, <laughs> yeah, they are. They become a part of Absolutely. your workforce. Mum has to go back into work very quickly after having kids. So when they get to that toddler stage, the kids are always there. You can't just keep them locked away. So you do have to have it in the back of your mind. You have to be vigilant. You have to teach your children from a young age to to listen to instructions very carefully. And if you say stop, they must stop quickly. Um, and just things like that. Well, how do you deal with? Because I was a young boy who grew up on a property, and there's a, there's a difficult there's an age where where we as young men believe we know a lot more than what we do. Yeah. Um, how do you manage that transition? How would you think to best manage that transition where where young boys, uh, particularly with young girls as well, start to really want to pull on jobs that are you know perhaps requiring a little bit more experience, a little bit more dangerous, maybe where they don't see the danger. Yeah, we're getting to that stage now with my kids, they're 13 and 11, and I've been pretty lucky, my young fella, he's pretty steady and, and that, but just instilling in them from a young age to be responsible, talk about the dangers, but let them get that experience under your watchful eye so that you don't just throw them out there by themselves, unsupervised, and expect them to be able to do something easily. So it's, you know, involving them all the time from a young age so that when it is time for them to take that step, they've got that experience, they've got that knowledge, and the There's a good point in case, I think, is when you talk about quad bikes. The one thing, if you, if you listen to manufacturers and people who advocate for safety on them, one of the biggest things is that they're so heavy when kids use them. And so the kids should not be on adult sized bikes. But obviously, they're become, they're become, and I mean, they're very easy to ride. So kids feel like they can ride them without understanding what happens if they actually roll over on top of them. Yeah, and that was an issue we faced when our children were little. We had a child-sized quad bike and they used to go really silly on that and I, that was my big concern that they thought they could get away with anything on that little bike, they'd jump on ours and try and do the same thing. So we actually got away with that little quad bike and we put them on two wheelers and it was just, you know, instilled that they are dangerous, they do roll, you can kill yourself. So, and they have been really good about it. So. Yeah, that was the one thing for us. Okay, to finish with, what's your golden rule? The one unbreakable rule? Just be responsible and look after each other. They go everywhere in a pair, look after each other. Thank you very much, Carly.